Welcome, this is Jessica at Christ Centered Ironworks. Today we're going to talk about blacksmithing classes that you can find at craft schools. I'm going to cover on 10 different craft schools that are located all across the U.S., so hopefully you can find one near you. If you've already been to a blacksmithing class or school, leave us a comment down below letting, you, letting us know what your experience was. Let's start. The first craft school I would like to touch on is Haystack Mountain School of Crafts. This is located in Deer Isle on Maine. They have their classes in the summer, generally June through September. Their classes are offered in one week sessions or in two week sessions. Their class tuition for one week is $550 or for two weeks it is $1,030. They also have an option for room and board so that your meals and a place to stay is all on campus. Over the summer, they offer about three different blacksmithing programs and they offer other types of programs as well for different types of artists. As far as studio residency, residencies, they offer this as well as an option. And looking at their page here, we will see a couple of their classes for 2017, just to give you an idea of the types of classes they offer. So for this year, they only have two sessions going. They have a blacksmithing session taught by Andrew Hayes and one taught by Haas Haley. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to haystack-mtn.org. The next blacksmithing school that we're going to talk about is Virginia Institute of Blacksmithing. They have two instructors, one that teaches blacksmithing and one that teaches welding. They generally offer one and two day blacksmith classes. You don't have to have previous experience. And they also teach ages as young as 10 that can attend with a guardian. Tuition for a one-day class runs $125, and a two-day blacksmith class costs $249. They have year-round classes, and they also have a program which you can gain a blacksmithing certificate called their Artist Blacksmithing Program. If you would like to find out more about them, you can go to vablacksmithing.org. We'll browse through the page and see a little bit of their class schedule. You can see they have it broke down Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So their Saturday and Sunday classes. You'll see the, they repeat them on both sides here. Those are their two-day classes. And then some of their one-day classes they have on Monday, such as a horse and ram's head, hinges and door pulls, and a railroad spike knife. And some of their two-day classes consist of a campfire cook set, modern metalwork and welding, and here they also have one of their certification courses going on. Again, this is the Virgi Virginia Institute of Blacksmithing. And that is in Waynesboro, Virginia. The next folk school we're going to look at is the Adirondack Folk School, and this is in Lake Luzerne, New York. Their courses range from two days to five days long, and they run between July and October. A tuition for one of their two-day classes would cost $250, or a five-day class is $575. Here they have a few of their course classes shown. They have a forge welding with Derek Heidemann. They also have an introduction to blade smithing with Matthew Parkinson. They have a Bowie knife with Mace Vitale. And they have finials and twist with Jordan Morrow. So if you would like to learn more about this particular school, 
visit adirdakfolkschool.org. The next one on my list is John C. Campbell Folk School in Brasstown, North Carolina. They have blacksmithing classes year around and their blacksmithing classes are a weekend classes or a whole week class and their three-day weekend classes run $354 or a week-long class is $630 for the tuition. Their classes range from beginner to advanced techniques and they have a work-study program which if you haven't seen my video yet on the work study programs. I cover the school more specifically in that video, so go check it out on our channel. And then John C. also offers lodging and meal plans also. Here on their calendar, we'll get an idea of some of the instructors they host there. They have a Ryan Johnson teaching tomahawks and axes, a Walt Hole teaching Fundamental Skills of Blacksmithing, Roberta Elliott teaching Finding uh, Your Inner Vulcan. We have Caitlin Morris, Smithing Made Simple. And they just have every, they have lots of things in there. Um, Susan Hutchinson, she's doing a blacksmithing and building skills. Uh, so lots of, lots of classes, one just about every week for blacksmithing. To learn more about them, go to folkschool.org. The next one we're gonna discuss is Peters Valley School of Crafts in Layton, New Jersey. They offer a pretty big variety of classes from beginning blacksmithing to specific techniques such as organic blacksmithing. Their classes run from May to October and their classes are generally two to five days long. The two-day classes are about $380, whereas their five-day classes go up to $770. Peters Valley also has scholarships available and some studio assistant programs. And they have additional meals and lodging available also. Here's some examples of their classes. Uh, some of these are um, not current, but they still have them up there. There was an organic blacksmithing with Wayne Apgar in June. Um, a basic blacksmithing techniques with Andy Upright. Forging fundamentals with and Andrew Doner. A caricatures and steel with Brad Nichols. and several blade classes here as well. So if you would like to learn more, go to petersvalley.org. Next is Touchstone. Touchstone is located in Farmington, Pennsylvania. They have a pretty range wide range of instructors and their instructors teach anywhere from May to September their classes are week-long with a few weekend classes as well. Their weekend classes are about $325, whereas their week-long classes are $575. They have some room and board options available, and they also have some residency programs. One of their instructors they have frequently is Glenn Orr. He teaches an irons in the fire class. They had Glenn Gardner teaching copper drinking vessels in June. They had a teen week, which they do every year, um, where they are catering to teenagers. At the beginning of July, they had forged fashion with Ellen Durkin. And then they have From Forge to Bench with Zach Letash and Dan Neville. If you'd like to see more of Touchstone's class offerings, 
you can visit their website at touchstonecrafts.org. Let's move on to Penland. Penland School of Crafts is located in Penland, North Carolina. Their classes are in spring through the fall each year. They offer one week, two week, or eight week periods and their tuition for a week is $633, for two weeks is $1,104, or an eight week session is $4,385. They also have additional room and board options available, as well as they have scholarship and studio assistantships available. The first one they have here, uh, Summer Session 4, was Design, Forge, and Fabricate with Greg Genner. Then a Vivian Beer touched Design and Fabulous. William Bastis taught Heat, Hold, Hit, Huzzah. That one is in August. If you want to learn about Penland, go to penland.org. Next we have Tunnel Mill. They offer they have a program for their community, which they teach weekly blacksmithing classes during certain times of the year. And by the way, they're located in Spring Valley, Minnesota. They host several instructors throughout the fall and summer. They have meals and lodging available. You have to call for the tuition prices and they have limited spots available. Up towards the top, this is some of their information on their blacksmithing classes that they teach for the community. Here's a class that was back in April, taught by Tom Latine. Here is a bench vice class taught by Tom Latine that they started also, and they're gonna be continue, continuing it in 2018. They had Douglas Pryor come out in the beginning of June. I'm going to go down quite a bit towards the bottom. I think it's their last class for the season. Let me go down a little more. Uh, Make Damascus with Rick Fur of Door County Blacksmiths. So his class is in August, and I believe that's the very last one for 2017 season. Uh, down here is their phone number, and you can also look it up at their website, tunnelmillcrafts.com. Our second to last class we're going to touch on is the New England School of Metalwork, which is located in Auburn, Maine. The school's primary focus is on blacksmithing, bladesmithing, and welding. Their classes run summer through winter, and they have three to five day long classes. The tuition is up to $575. They have some scholarships available. And on their website here, off to the side, you can see their current co course offerings. They had a bench tools with Seth Gold, blacksmithing tool set with Jeff Mower, beginning blacksmithing, English latch with Peter Ross, something from nothing, another beginner blacksmithing class, one called Here Be the Dragons in September. So if you want to learn more about this particular school, go to newenglandschoolofmetalwork.com. And our final blacksmithing school we're going to touch on is Cascadia Center for Arts and Crafts. This is located in Government Camp, Oregon. Their blacksmithing classes are in the summer and fall. And they also are the home of the blacksmith show called Blacksmith Week that happens every August. Their two-day classes 
cost $250, and their three-day classes cost $375. In July, they had a basic blacksmithing class with Lisa Gearston. They also had a Fundamentals of Blacksmithing in July with Mark Asbury. They had a sculpture workshop with Fred Christ. This one will be coming up in August. And there's some information on their Blacksmith Week which happens to be August 17th through 20th in 2017. If you want to learn more about this one, go to CascadiaArt.org. And if you want to learn more about any of these, I'll put a link for all of them down in the description so that you can go check them out. And also I'll put what town they're located in. And uh, I encourage you guys to go ahead and leave me some comments. If you've been to blacksmithing schools or um, taken some different blacksmithing classes, uh, tell me what your experience is. And uh, maybe we'll have a, a longer list to add to and some more resources for everyone. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you all have a blessed day.